your take on what we heard so far from the major banks? Uh, well, good morning. And, uh, you know, banks are a good barometer of where we are in the economy, um, barring, you know, disappointing results, of course, in investment banking. But really looking out to next year and, and recession, uh, we're just not seeing it in the numbers across all the banks that reported Friday or Bank of America, whether it's consumer lending, health in terms of credit card, risk, credit loss exposure. Uh, or even commercial banking, where there isn't a distressed industry. Usually, those are kind of tea leaves of a recession coming. So it, it's kind of a tale of, of two markets. While the IPO market has dried up, Ken, we have certainly seen a rise in M&A, the latest one being Kroger, uh, uh, putting in an offer for Albertsons. Um, that should certainly help the banks, right? Or which banks benefit the most? So, the, you know, the voice really was weak in terms of usually you'll say we have a strong investment banking pipeline for the fourth quarter, which is one of the biggest quarters for underwriting. Uh, equity underwriting, including IPOs, is not expected uh, to really pick up for the rest of this year. Uh, M&A, to your question, uh, will because uh, corporate clients are flush with cash, and if they can't organically grow, they might do acquisitions. But it's a smaller percentage of investment banking. The area that really held up was a little bit better was trading, but not, not the double-digit growth that we saw in both equity and fixed income trading uh, earlier in the year. For regards to fixed income trading, what are you expecting to hear from Bank of America when it reports? I think it's really measured risk. You know, there, all these banks, including Bank of America, are concerned about their regulatory capital requirements. So they're not taking big risk on the fixed income side, particularly derivatives. You've seen, obviously, the news with Credit Suisse or even the Bank of England, you know, and its effect on the credit markets. So banks are conservative today versus years ago when it comes to fixed income or derivative trading. Ken, what's your take on this story from the Wall Street Journal this morning that Goldman Sachs is planning a big reshuffle? It's also uh, taking its three divisions, folding its biggest businesses into three divisions and undertaking one of the biggest reshuffles in history. Uh, what do you make of this? I haven't seen the article, but my presumption would be that this type of restructuring usually happens when you underperform or there's an outlook of maturity. So possibly this is cutting away layers of cost, even if it's at the managing director level.